guys what's up welcome back to this new vlog i hope you guys are doing good so guys as i have told you in my last video that we have cancelled the japanese port call because of typhoon kanon in east china sea and japan and now it is uh, going to korea so we have diverted our vessel back to hong kong we will discharge all the containers that we had loaded there and then we will move to china port calls so guys if you have not watched uh, my last video so do watch it so that you can correlate with this video link is in the description and uh, in addition i am going to give a familiarization of a cargo vessel but let's go hong kong first Guys, we are alongside in Hong Kong and these gantry cranes are ready to discharge all the containers. Then we will move to China tomorrow morning. And let me know in the comment section that how did you like the time lapse video. And uh, this is some beautiful views in the night time of the Hong Kong terminal. guys cargo operation has almost finished as you can see the country crane is loading the last hatch cover and now we are preparing for the departure from hong kong and now we will go to kingdao china and enjoy this time lapse while departing from this hong kong terminal So guys as you can see the ship is completely empty so I thought this would be the best time to give you complete tour of a container vessel so let's start with that so let's begin this tour from the forward So friends here we are in the forward mooring station that is the forward part of the vessel and this is the local control panel of the mooring winches and here we have a live boy you might have seen in my previous videos and uh, there is a local control panel for this mooring winches that you can uh, right now this is closed so we can open it and uh, let me show you what are the things so inside. guys this is the independent local operating uh, panel for the mooring winches and windlass as you can see on the panel we have a handle for heaving or lowering the mooring winch for independent mooring uh, mooring winch and here we have a emergency stop then we have a selector switch for manual and auto control these indications and this is load sensor indicator and tension meter so guys this is how the mooring winch look like so this is number 3 mooring winch and there we have a anchor chain which is secured with the lashings 
and uh, this is anchor bow it's in position and this is the anchor windlass and this one is the mooring ropes and guys this is a winch electrical motor and this is the gearbox of this mooring winch and uh, other side we have a uh, ropes mooring ropes on the drum and there we have a manual brake of this mooring winch and there we have a two windlass windlass one and windlass two that can be used as a mooring of course so in forward we have total three mooring winches and two windlass that is the hydraulic brake for the anchor windlass And that is the forward mast you might have seen in my previous video but uh, I'm just including in this video also. And there we have a forward whistle and there, there is a crane boom which is secured on top of this forward mast. Now I will take you to the Boson store. So guys now we are entering in the boson store and here you can see this is the automatic telephone and this is the push button for exhaust fan then this is a mcp call point that is manual call point and here you can find the control panel for the mooring winches and windlass as you can see here and guys this is a anchor chain home where the anchor chain gets stored and this is the place guys where we store all these mooring winches extra ladders and lashing bridge materials twist lock and lashing bars, pilot ladder and this is the Suez light in case of crossing Suez we can use this then as you can see here there are a lot of uh, mooring ropes this is these are the spare mooring ropes and here we have a twist lock lashing bars then uh, life jacket and immersion suit as you can see that orange box And guys uh, this is the second entry door to this uh, Boston store and the first one is there this one is the second one now I will show you the forward life rafts so guys this is the port side uh, forward life rafts which has a capacity of six person and the launching procedures are on top of this life raft cover and the same uh, one more life raft we have on the other side that is starboard side with the same capacity So here is the second left route on the starboard side and this is the port side passageway entry and we can access the both restroom as well from here. So this is all the way going to aft. So guys uh, this is the embarkation ladder in the forward station so before launching this life raft you need to prepare this uh, embarkation ladder on ship side so in case if you want to come back on ship because as you know ship is the safest place. Uh, at sea so if you want to come back then this will be the access so let's move more in the aft and I will show you around so this is the capstan and there we have a remote control for this capstan so the use of this capstan is to if you want to make fast the tugboat so this will be very useful in that case because the tugboat mooring ops are really heavy so while uh, using this one we can uh, bring it up on board and uh, put it on the bollards so guys this is the fire hydrant connection here and it's not one there are plenty on this side and there is the fire hose which we can connect in case of fire to extinguish the fire and uh, right now I'm moving on a port side so I will show you around more things So guys this is a port side gangway we have one more gangway on a starboard side and it is also called as a accommodation ladder and this is the only place from where you can access the ship there is no another place except the gangway and this is the accommodation ladder gangway winch together with the motor. So 
सो गाइज दिस इज द पोर्ट साइड बंकर स्टेशन वेर वी डू एच एफ ओ बंकरिंग फ्यूल ऑयल बंकरिंग मरीन गैस ऑयल बंकरिंग एंड दिस इज द बंकर क्रेन सो सेम सेटअप वी हैव अनदर साइड दैट इज ताबोर्ट साइड एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर सो नाउ वी आर ऑलमोस्ट इन द ऑफ स्टेशन सो लेट मी शो यू अराउंड इन द ऑफ स्टेशन So guys here we are in a uh, aft mooring station that is just behind the, our accommodation building and here is the local control panel same as you see in the forward and here we have uh, total five mooring winches as you can see and uh, in the front you have a bollards and uh, on other side starboard side also we have one local control panel for these winches Usually we have a remote control also for these mooring operations. Now have a look at see through the ship's eye. And another thing in the aft mooring station is our live boat that is a free fall live boat which is secured on the live boat davit. And here is the aft view of our huge and huge accommodation building. now we are in a live boat deck so this is our free fall live boat now life jackets and immersion suit which are very important for the survival while abandoning the ship now let's go to other side that is a starboard side and there i will show you the rescue boat and uh, life rafts so in aft we have total four life rafts two in the port side and another two in the starboard side and these life rafts can be lowered using this uh, life bo rescue boat david and our rescue boat can be launched with this uh, rescue boat david and here we have a rescue boat and here is our accommodation building the huge view fantastic view i think you might have never seen this clear view of the our accommodation so guys if you have liked this video till now so give a thumbs up or like and please comment it will really help this video to reach out more people thank you and that is a ship's monorail crane also called as a provision crane so guys this is a top view of our ship and we have three deck cranes usually we don't use it because all ports are having the gantry cranes and guys this is a lashing bridge so here we have a five cargo holds on our ship so guys now it's the time for dropping anchor we are very close to the kingdao china port but we have given our window but uh, there is a delay in that so we will drop our anchor in the waters so let me show you that how to prepare the anchor for anchoring so guys there are three important step that need to be done before dropping the anchor the first one is to engage the winch to the anchor windlass as you can see this one and the another one is to remove this bow stopper to free the anchor chain and the third one is to start the hydraulic pump which will disengage the brake from the anchor windlass and guys this is the anchor day signal that has to be hang on the forward mast this will be the signal for other vessel that we are under anchorage so now we have started lowering the anchor using the winch up to water level and after that we will disengage the winch and start lowering the anchor with the gravity
गाइज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एज मच एज यू कैन थैंक यू सो मच एंड कीप मी अपडेटिंग फॉर मोर टॉपिक्स दैट यू वॉन्ट मी टू कवर थैंक यू सो मच सी यू बाय